Hey everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids for my Journey to a Happier, Healthier Me, Saturday, November 12th. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Had my craft sale today, and it was wonderful. <laughs> and that was the dog. He just ate dinner, so he's uh, having a little bit of gaseous problems now. Anyway. Um, I had, um, something again for breakfast. Oh, I had crackers with peanut butter and jelly. I think I, did I vlog this morning? <laughs> I have no idea. I was sleeping. Yes, I did vlog this morning because I said good morning to Marina on my vlog. Okay, then. Anyway, I did not remember that until just right now when I was like, wait a minute, I think I told you this morning what I ate for breakfast. That's so funny. Okay, so for lunch, <laughs> I had a veggie plate, um, minus the dip because it was Caesar dip at the church. And then I was starving, so I had to decide what to eat because they had burgers sandwiches which were like um salmon tuna egg salad montreal smoked meat basically nothing i can eat beef barley soup chili and then the only thing technically vegetarian that they had was minestrone soup so i actually had minestrone soup it's not vegan because there's pasta in it little um shells but I was like, well, either I eat that or I have to go home and get something. And Kevin was already bringing us stuff later. And I'm like, okay, I'll just have some minestrone soup. So that is the first time in I don't know how long that I actually strayed from my vegan diet or whatever you want to call it. I'm saying diet not as in dieting to, you know, eat less. I'm saying diet as in the way I eat kind of thing, okay? Um... So it was it was good. So I'm not gonna say, you know, oh my god, I did something wrong and blah blah blah. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? So it was a choice I made. Um but normally I would say big no no to that because most general pastas have eggs in them and I just don't do that. I always buy the um rice pasta or um the healthy harvest or something like that. So anyway, um the sale today went really well. I'm so happy. We had very, very many people coming through. It was lovely. And um, sold quite a few hats. And then we also had a lot of people interested in just my stuff. And they took my cards and they want special orders. And so a lot could come for this. I had a lady that wanted to learn how to crochet. So um, she took my card and we're going to get together and I'm going to teach her. Um, and then... The best part of my whole day okay first of all marina and kevin came and spent the, almost the whole day with me kevin just came home to walk the dog and get us some food and stuff like that but other than that they spent the whole day with me and um at one point one of the ladies who works in the church in the uh, hospitality room was talking to somebody and she's like well you you'll know monica over there and i'm like pardon and she comes over and she's like i'm an ex-corpus christi teacher and i'm like well, I'm a Corpus Christi student. She's like, I know, I know you. And I'm like, who are you? She's like, I'm Miss Stewart. I'm like, I didn't have a Miss Stewart. And she's like, um, because I was your French teacher. I'm Mademoiselle Stewart. I'm like, oh my God, I love you. <laughs> I'm like, I talk about you all the time. I'm like, I talk about you so much. I said, I was just talking about you in like one of my vlogs. And I'm like, and I was singing. And I'm like, Sir Le Pont d'Avignon. No, we don't sit no, we don't so she used to sing that to us all the time and she used to have like these really fun days on Fridays when we would do crosswords and she would have like really cool prizes and we did like this really cool stuff um we made um taffy where you put the broomstick on the two chairs and then you put like um I think it was like towels or cloths or parchment paper or something anyway over the broomstick and then you do like this with the sugar syrup and it makes like long pulled strings of taffy we did like snow taffy and she used to have those felt boards and she used to tell us stories 
and use the felt boards with the family and everything. Honestly, best teacher ever. So I was so super excited to see her today. I kept telling her I loved her. It was so cute. And I was so excited. So seeing all of my old friends, I really, really have decided that maybe, I honestly don't know if I can manage right now just because I'm so busy all the time, but I'd like to go back to church again. Um, now, for those of you who are saying, oh, you should go to church, you should go to church. Nothing against my church, believe me. I love my church. The only reason why I stopped going to church is because I'm Catholic and I'm also out as a bisexual. And in the Catholic church, that's a no-no. When I was dating my girlfriend, I went to church and honestly, I wasn't really welcomed there. Don't get me wrong. All of my friends who love me and who know me are like, you know what? Not up to us. That's God's decision, right? And that's the way it should be. God loves everybody, okay? And you know what? I don't care about anybody else anyway or their opinions. Never have, never will. But... I just really felt like I was getting glared at and stuff like that because I'm very, you know, I wear my pride. As you guys know, I used to show a Rainbow Pride uh, um, item every week on my uh, Fresh Off the Hook Mondays. And I always have them at my table. And, you know, I just think it's great. I love it. And I love supporting it. And I'll never change. So, kind of torn. Do I want to go there or do I want to go to a church that is openly accepting of the LGBT community. Can't decide. Anyway, the things that I have to put up with in my life, I'm telling you, it's a real um, flippity floppity decision kind of making thing for me. Anyway, we won't go into that because I don't want to talk like politics of anything with anybody and I don't, you know what, you can have your opinion and I have mine and I completely like respect everybody's opinion. So that's, com that's fine but I'm still deciding. So I just wanted to tell everybody that because I just had such an amazing day. I really did. And we spent time together as a family, which was wonderful. Marina spent a lot of time with our friend Jan, who's an artist, and she is so amazing. She um, gave Marina a canvas and she is in her room right now painting something. And I'm so excited because, as you guys know, Marina is just Miss Crafty and Miss Talented. And now she has another um, way to express herself. So if she can do some painting, that would be fabulous. Um, what else? I'm learning a lot of things from the crafters there. So, you know, like, um, I don't have enough dimension in my table. Like, I have, it's everything's down flat except for my little mannequin heads, right? <laughs> I have Dorothy and then I have her sibling, no name, <laughs> and uh, I have a beautiful um, quilt covering my table, which a couple of people actually commented on. That was the one that we found at the Santa Claus Parade two years ago. So that's lovely and I have my sign up and, and we set it up within a couple of minutes like it was crazy, but I need dimension. So I saw a bunch of other things that people had there, which was really fabulous, and I'm going to get some of these things. And I make mostly hats and scarves, as you guys know. I sold out of my um, dishcloths, and I got an order from a friend for 25 more because he's giving them for Christmas presents, so that was amazing. Um, and another lady asked me about the cotton washcloth as well because they are a hot seller. Huge, huge, huge hot seller, so I'm really excited about that. Um, and then uh, people loved my table because of the colors. Like, I have massive amounts of color, color, colorful stuff. So that was fabulous. Um, there was a lot of other crochet and knitting, but you know, people are drawn to what they like. So if you liked color, you came to my table. So it was like pretty cool. Um, and what else? Um, I think that's about it. Like it was just, it was a really nice day. So we go back tomorrow, but only from 10 until two. And um, we're home now. It's 8.07. I have homework to do, dishes to do, get ready for tomorrow, have a shower, you know. <laughs> so tomorrow I may not be so bright and chipper. This, by the way, was painted by Jen from Apple Grove. They had Apple Grove table there, which is the place that I used to work at, and they had as a fundraiser. You could get your face painted for a donation of two bucks, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want it. And Marina got hers done, a whole butterfly, but she's busy. So, um, anyway, yeah. 
thank you so much to my friends that came out. I had um, Dina, Chris, and Karen. They came out to see me today. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm Mrs. Stewart, like I said. Um, uh, Cheryl came by with her son Nick towards just the very end and actually gave me some pizza, which was so exciting because it didn't have any cheese on it. She can't eat cheese, so it was just uh, dough and sauce and tomatoes. So I picked off the tomatoes Kevin ate and I had some pizza, which was so exciting. Um, and what else? I'm hoping that I'm not forgetting anything because I would feel really bad if I did. But um, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome crafter. We're sitting next to this lady. Um, I forget her name right now. Kathy. I'm, no, it's not Kathy. Oh. I forget, but I got her card, and she does beadwork. Beautiful beadwork. What's the name of the lady next to us? Beading Tracy. lady? Tracy. Thank you. I said Kathy. I'm like, it's not Kathy. No, Kathy had the... Uh video game stuff and funky cards. Right. I liked her too. She was cool. So, oh yeah. This lady has the cutest things like Star Trek um, wreath. Marina actually put two things aside for her father for tomorrow to pick up for Christmas. So I better not say just in case he watches the videos. I'm not sure. Because I don't want to ruin her surprise for Christmas. Um, and uh, Kevin got this little cute uh, charm for his phone with the little tiny mushrooms from the Mario game. So cute! And uh, she has a Mario and Luigi wreath. It is the cutest thing ever. Um, buy it for me for Christmas. $55. I can't afford $55. So, and we don't buy each other Christmas presents like that. Anyway, we're gonna like pay bills and stuff like that for each other. And I'm going to, hopefully, if we can do it, uh, we'll both chip in and get ourselves a new Christmas kind of present, which is going to be a table and chairs for the kitchen, because our table's awful, and we need new chairs. Um, and I'm at 12 minutes already. Oh, my gosh. Um, and what else? I bought some Christmas cards, which are so cute. This lady there um, uh, had just beautiful, beautiful Christmas cards, and I love buying unique Christmas cards instead of just a plain old box cards. So I got 12 cards for 12 bucks. Same as going to the dollar store, right? And these are all like, I picked personal ones that I wanted to pick for each person. I love them. Um, Kevin bought me some vegan chocolate and it was so good. He despised it, but I loved it. It was, uh, it's cinnamon. Much, so much, much, much cheaper than all the other vegan chocolate we found so far. It was really good, and it was fair trade, and it supported the church, so I'm in love with that. And I am actually might buy um, a can of the pure cocoa tomorrow, and I'll show you that tomorrow. It's Camino. Um, and it came in recycled packaging, too. Yeah, recycled packaging. I'll, I'll show the box tomorrow so you guys can see it. Right. And um, what else? I think that's it. So I will probably vlog tomorrow because tomorrow's a um, 10 till 2 at the sale. So I am going to, uh, yeah, I should be okay. And I'm almost finished all the squares. I think I have one ball of yarn left. I was crocheting the squares today when I could. And I'm on to my last ball tomorrow. It's not exciting. I can't wait. And yeah, I think I'm just going to do um, Sweet Pagan Rose. She was saying um, to just outline them in black. Not outline them. Join them in black. And then when you're doing the border to actually like add some border to it, if I'm not mistaken, if that's how she explained it. If you're saying to join with a double crochet, I have no idea how to do that. I only know how to join with a single crochet. Yeah, I don't know how to join with a double crochet. Anyway, um, I don't know how to make a pattern or follow a pattern or anything like that. So when you're saying it, I'm trying to picture it in my head because that's the only way I can do things. But yeah, I better go. I'm at 14.38. <laughs> I love you guys. And thank you so much for watching and all your positivity. Positivity. I love you so much. Share your smile. Share your smile, everyone. Bye.